Spring cleaning is done. I feel so peaceful when everything is in its place. Hi, neighbor. Time to return some stuff I buried. No! Nice catch, Wally. Thanks for nothing. If you never darken my door again, it'll be too soon, Woodpecker. Spring snowstorm has hit the Tri County area. Neighbors should look out for one another as this storm could last for a few weeks. Yeah. Oh, this can't happen. Oh, no, 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 weeks, no, weeks. Oh, no, 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 For once, I agree with you, Wally. I'll go crazy in this place that long. I'll go to the rubber room. Okay, listen here, Woodpecker. If you gotta be a guest in my house, then you live by my Swedish cleanliness code, you bet. Look, I didn't ask to get stuck here either. So just don't get me involved in any of your Swedish shenanigans and you won't even know I'm here. It's a deal. This week on As the Bread Rises, Mike and Michelle realize nothing makes their love stronger than getting abducted. Wally, the TV's gone out from the storm. What will we do with no TV? I don't care what you do. <laughs> Poof! You snow more with the noisy and the messy, yeah? Must be calm. Uh, let me just, uh... Good as new. Enough with the boom boom twang. Hey, Wally, what are you doing? I'm alphabetizing all my photo slides by the articles of clothing I was wearing in each shot. I'm going to check the order if you'd like to watch. Gee, can I? Yeah, and here I am at Mount Sweetmore in my checkered suit. <sighs> oh, yeah. I'll never forget this one. The National Fjord watching show where I wore my fuchsia parachute pants every day. Oh yeah, here I am at the Swedish leg waxing competition in my daisy yellow fisherman's hat. <gasps> Wait a minute, this slide is out of order. Oh no, now we gotta start at the beginning again. Yeah. Wally, buddy, I can't take it anymore. Pull yourself together, woodpecker. <laughs> Want now, Woodpecker? Wanna play sharks? Be not playing sharks. <laughs> Come on, Wally, buddy. We've been cooped up here for a week. You'll love it. The ground is the sea, and the furniture is the land. Yeah, sure. 
So, uh, even this coffee table is land? You are a natural. Now just stay out of the water, or else. Or else what? Or else the shark will get you. Shark? Shark! <gasps> I help you, little buddy. The only way to feed him is on his own turf, but how? I know. My childhood crib in the attic. Shark cage! We beat the shark! We beat the shark! Told you it was a great game! <gasps> Wally! Look! Woohoo! Snow's gone and so am I! <gasps> doinky doinky! Come on, Wally! <laughs> Think of that shark mounted over the fireplace! <laughs> How about you mounted over the fireplace? Oh! That's right, folks. We've been hit with more snow. Ah, there's nothing like a little more winter to really bring people together. See the world. Free grub? Oh boy, that's for me. Mm -mm. So, where's all the grub? Waits for me. You got the wrong sailor. <laughs> Ooh, a costume sea party. Cha-cha-cha. Now that's something I could get into. Roll call! The food line. Okey? Yeah. Corky? Hello. Thompson? Thompson. <laughs> Thompson. Oh, Thompson. Thompson! <laughs> Someone Captain Redwood calls your name, Thompson? Hold on, I'm not Thompson. What do you mean you're not Thompson? Picked you up the dock like you wanted. Ah, oh, this is getting boring. I'm here for the free food. If you're not Thompson, what be your name then? Arr. It be Woody. Arr, me hearty. That's a fine sailing name. Uh, but where's your sea leg? S sea leg? I sea leg. Every real pirate's got a sea leg. Don't we, mateys? I can't. I've got a sea leg. I've got two good ones above left, unfortunately. He's not a pirate, Captain. No, sir. He's one of those, um, land creatures. Hey, I'm no landlubber. Captain, he took your sword. Get my sword! Give my king back his sword! He be the infamous pirate, Woody Muckpucker, Scourge of the Seven Seas. Arr. Oh, that's gonna hurt. Boys? We got us a stowaway, and you know what that means. Ah, uh -huh. yes. Yeah. Actually, no. No, no not no, as no. such, no. What happens when you do something wrong? <laughs> we get punished? Exactly! So we should... Um, punish him! Punish him! Hmm, can't do that. I don't know how to do that. Oh, boy! Let's tar and feather him! But I've already got feathers. Oh, feathers. No. Ah, and we don't have no tar. Take 
take him to the rack! Yay! Time to the rack! Aw, oh, shoot, guys. I'm too short to tie to the rack. I'll just go home now. Not so fast there, lad lover. Hmm. I mean, arr. The plank! Will have him walk the plank! The plank! The plank! The plank! All righty! Now walk. Some vacation this is. And no food. to you guys. How? Well, I'm a woodpecker. A woodpecker? What's a woodpecker? I don't know. No, oh, we don't need no stick at woodpecker! Oh. Look! Ooh, pretty. Uh, can you do a skull and crossbones? Ah, there ain't nothing like a pint of ale. Oh, uh, that's uh, ginger ale, kiddies. <laughs> what are we going to do now, Captain? Well, um, have we raided other ships? Yeah. Um, plundered? Oh, yes. Have we sang that Yo-Ho-Ho -Ho song? I believe so, sir. Oh, then I guess there's nothing left. We've done all a pirate could do. No more adventure. What about a mutiny? Oh. What's that? A mutiny is like a big party, and you get to take over the ship. Oh, boy. How about we have a mutiny party? Mutiny, mutiny, mutiny! Oh, I love a good mutiny, Arthur. No, why you? You'll pay for this. All right, swabbies. I'm Captain now, and I say we head for sure. Bye. Bye-bye now. See ya. Hate to be ya. Good riddance. So long. Goodbye. See you later. So long. Huh? Oh, boy. Free grab. Smorgasbord. That's for me. No, Ollie, don't! It's all a cruel trick! And pirates! And the ships! With the rack! And the plank! Tar and feathered! I finally... They were ghosts, man! <laughs> <laughs> Very funny! Ghost pirates! <laughs> Crazy woodpecker! <laughs> no! Wait! <laughs> Oh, no, not again. I think that little old fella's a fur stealer. I'm a pretty fast dog when I want to be. I 
I got the fur back. He's a kind of cute little old rascal, ain't he? son. You gotta go, shorty. Sorry, son. No more furs. Feller's got a hold of my tail. He's got my tail again. That's a lot of fun, man. looking thing, ain't he? He's the one who 
Carlos stole my car. Big L. We'll finally put him away when you testify at the trial tomorrow, Mr. Woodpecker. But I can't testify! Big Al could have friends. We promise to keep you safe and under police protection. I can't do it, man. I think you'll find the safe house accommodations aren't too shabby. Woohoo! Duty calls. Take care of the witness. <laughs> Concentration. Soon as I sink this shot, Ossifer. Yep, I'm as safe as a bug in a rug with all this protection. Four. Your shorts? Algae's murder. We need some pool toys. <laughs> <laughs> gotcha. Wow! Securing the perimeter. I feel safer already. It's just me. Complimentary fruit from the precinct. Oh, how thoughtful. End of my shift. See ya, buddy. <gasps> That's no fruit basket. Let me out! It's you! Shut off. Christians to detonation. Kiss yourself goodbye. It's for you. No, you. No, you. Fine. gonna be the first witness I've ever missed. I'm the best there is in the business. I have no equal. There is none greater than I. Would you get the door, please? Your Honor, that's the guy who stole my car. And that's the guy he hired to make 
make sure I didn't make it here to say that's the guy who stole my car. This is a oh, tissue of lies. Order! Order in the court! Can you prove he tried to stop you from getting here today, Mr. Woodpecker? <laughs> Exhibit A! Need I say more? What are you looking at? It would be a pleasure to testify against him at the next trial. Trial is set for a week from tomorrow. Of course, we're going to have to put you in another safe house, Woody. No problemo. And here's the one I want. Yep, a guy could get used to this kind of justice. <laughs> Mother Nature! Ah, uh, I'm not here! Oh, yes, you are! You can't fool Mother Nature! <laughs> Mr. Woodpecker, our report shows you are 550,000 pecks behind even the laziest woodpecker. You are being demoted to a pigeon. But I'm a woodpecker. Not anymore. Now you're a pigeon. <laughs> No! I am a woodpecker! You can't do this to me! Please, Mother Nature. I gotta be promoted back to woodpecker! Do a good job as a pigeon, and you will be eligible for a review in no time. All right, let's get this show on the road. Where are the drinks and sandwiches? Uh, uh Mother Nature told me to expect you, uh, sit down! We pigeons have been having a problem regarding our uh, coverage. As you can see, statues are down by 23%. Our coverage on cars has maintained a, a, a constant increase, uh, but, but there is always room for improvement. Now let's get going! <laughs> Oh, I see. First day, and you're already uh, slacking, huh, smart guy? Now you shake your tail feathers, or I'll see you never get a promotion back to a uh, woodpecker. Now get busy on those statues! I knew you were a slacker from the word wood. How do you expect to cover your area now? All done, sir. That's impossible. Coverage complete, sir. Hey, but you ain't. Uh, how did you? Oh, that has got to be a pigeon record. You're up to something, and when I find out what it is, I will see you demoted to Dodo Bird. Okay, pigeons. Starting today, the company is bringing back an old pigeon standby. We're mounting a carrier pigeon squadron once more. Hey, but this time, no more little messages tied to the leg. This is the era of pigeon delivery. Well, guess I better get going. Can't talk now. There's work to be done and no time for fun. To New York, to Detroit, to Cleveland, to Seattle, to Bora Bora, Bora Bora. Oh, Bora Bora! Well, I finished my deliveries. Might as well enjoy some of that off time at the beach. Yeah, <laughs> excellent. We'll have this business licked in no time. Where is that good-for-nothing woodpecker? I have you now. You. Uh, busted now, mister. What is this? Well, sir, I did forget to deliver one package. It was returned to sender. Oh, you Nimrod! Th this was just across town. Follow me, and I'll show you how a real pigeon delivers. <laughs> it sure is heavy. <sighs> What took 
you so long, Mac. Beauty. But, huh? You're up to something, Woodpecker. And mark my words, I will bust you if it's the last thing I ever do as a pigeon! Apparently, we have some competition from these guys, your swallows. They're moving in on our crumb-gathering territory. Let's show these swallows what it means to be a pigeon! Hurry, hurry, step right up, step right up. Free one-way tickets to San Juan Capistrano. Step right up, free tickets for any bona fide swallows. Move along, move along. No shoving. There's enough seats for everyone. Yeah, why don't we do it? Let's do it now. What's your trick, Woody? Oh, just a crummy little idea. Get it? Crummy. <laughs> well, well, Woody. You've excelled in every job you were given. I see no reason why I shouldn't promote you better. To Woodpecker. Oh, joy. Oh, boy. I love my beak. I can't wait to start pecking again. I knew he'd turn out fine. Mother Nature. Mother Nature, I've got it. I've got photos. Woody's been scamming us the whole time. Oh, well, uh, well but, but I've already promoted him. Uh, yeah. Oh, well, you've got to do something. Yeah, I know. Turn him into a newt, a stink bug. How about an amoeba? No, I've got a better idea. <sighs> this is the life. It's good to be a woodpecker again. Mother Nature! Why, what a pleasant surprise. I, uh, I was just about to get to work. I've got a lot of trees to pack. Just a second. Listen, Woody, you did so well in the pigeon training squad that I've decided to promote you again. Another promotion. To what? Hawk. Eagle, you're bringing back the pterodactyl. <laughs> Congratulations. You are now in charge of training all woodpeckers. And here's your first student now. Hey, woodpecker. I'm here for six months of training, and I want to get every second of it on tape. Mother Nature, wait a second. Wait, wait, wait. Don't leave me like this. No. <laughs> I was his new mailman. But he warned me of Buzz Buzzard, the notorious mail robber. Hooey! The mail must go through! So, mounting my old cayuse, my old cayuse, we were on our way. But somehow I had the feeling that we weren't getting anywhere. What's this that holds up the delivery of the mail? Thank <laughs> you. 
with his getaway, the culprit was little aware of my hot pursuit. Guess who? <laughs> Being ever on the alert, I summed up the situation and resumed the chase. We headed for the falls. Horseshoe Falls, that is. never pays. Proving once again, it is better to be a good guy and do good, cause the bad guys always get it in the end. <laughs> Stop the presses, boss. The culinary critic will have a review of Winnie's Big City Bistro in no time. Big City, my foot. These small-town places are never like the joints in the big city. I'm sure it'll close down just like all the other restaurants do after I review them. <laughs> but enough dilly-dallying. I've got a job to do. Ta-da! My first day in business. It's so exciting being a restaurateur. Why, howdy and hi there. I'm so... My first customer. <laughs> Be right back. <laughs> Winnie's Big City Bistro. Hi, Betty. What? The famous culinary critic is coming here? Today? <laughs> An inside tip? Uh-huh. Always comes in disguise, but uses double initials when placing a reservation. Von for Volley Volrus. Volley Volrus? Betty, double initials. It's the critic. <laughs> 
Fame and fortune, here I come! Mr. Volley Volrus, what a pleasure! <laughs> I want the best food, with no salt. I am terribly allergic to the salt, yeah? And I also want a window seat, with clean window. One window seat with clean window and hold the salt. Coming right up. What? Right this way, Mr. Volrus, to a wonderful seat and a perfect view. Excuse me, miss! I'll be back. How do you like Winnie's Big City Bistro so far? Look at this stain. I can't eat here. Oh, no, no, please wait. <laughs> The customer is always right. I'll be right back with appetizers. Oh, my goodness. Oh, waitress. Where are my appetizers? Salted calamari. I said no salt. Excuse me, I don't think I ordered this. <laughs> Gee, I I guess if it's on you, then it's 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 on us. <laughs> oh, calamari all over one customer. Salt and the critics' food. Ma'am, I'm ready to order. <laughs> oh. I'll have some of this pasta. <laughs> and an extra serving of garlic bread. You're not the only person in this restaurant. Have a seat and I'll be right with you. <laughs> Appetizers for the most discriminating appetite. Mmm. I'd like some of the pasta I smell. Uh, of course, sir. Oh, ma'am! Here! No good pasta! Oh, no! And the lobster at Winnie's Big City Bistro is fresher than anywhere else in town! So, what do you think, Miss? Can I have some soup, please? The one soup for you. Matress, there is the turf for my surf and turf. <laughs> Coming! Oh, ma'am. What? This soup could use a little salt. You got it. Matress, I would like something else. How is your lobster? What else have you got that's good? Whoa! Try this, and this, and these, and those. Miss, miss, do you hear? Miss, it's too salty now. Miss! Uh, well, if that's all you have, then I'll be going. Wait, Mr. Walrus, uh, you haven't tasted, uh, my soup. You're done, dearie. Hey! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> salt! I'm allergic to the salt. talking about? I'm the culinary critic. I wore this disguise so I could get in partial service, which I must say I have. <gasps> You're the critic? Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. I'm so sorry for the way mm. I've treated you. Where's the fire? In my eyes, that's where. I'll give you water, you no good critic and bully. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Anything I can do to make this up to you? Free dessert! Your own special reserve table! The truth is, I I was just working as hard as I could for a good review. And a good review you'll get. What? This place is amazing! 
It has all the hustle, the bustle, and the pesky patrons of the best big city restaurants. You liked it? The atmosphere was authentic. I can see the review now. Culinary critic raves. Winnie's Big City Bistro is perfect for people wanting a taste of the big city in their own backyard. Customers will be lining around the block. Newsflash, everybody. It's romantic. It's authentic. Daddy, it's you're not going to believe what happened. I'm a hit. <laughs> Oh boy, business stinks. <sighs> Winnie's salon is killing my wig shop, Con. I gotta get me some hard customers. Oh, a day of beauty. <laughs> Hairdresser wanted. Hmm, I know just the guy. <laughs> Hello, I'm Leroy, and I'm your man for the job. Well, I sure could use the help. I'm swamped. How about me and Peachy going first? Is there any way you could squeeze me in first? No, me! Please, Winnie! You're hired. You just let me know if you need anything, and I'll check on you later. The only thing I need is some of your customers. I'll give him a shampoo that'll make him wig out for sure. <laughs> Follow me, ladies. We'll get you washed first. My hair must be handled with great care. I want Peachy's hair the same as mine. I need a shampoo and a leg wax. <laughs> and your little dog, too. <laughs> oh, I cracked me up. This is rich, <laughs> like I'm gonna be. <laughs> oh my! <laughs> Right. Oh, yes. <laughs> it's just uh, fine. Uh, you just relax now. May I look in the mirror? Mm. Can I have a look, too? experience in the hair business. Come with me, ladies. I know just how to help you. My uh, brother uh, can fix you gleaming gals up as good as new. What happened? Now I've lost all my best customers. Girl, you look marvelous. Wait a minute. I got it. It matches your red lips. Oh, does it? 
I've got just the one for you. Madam, that's totally you. This con is waking great. Shiny scalps equals mom's moolah. <laughs> now to steal some more of Winnie's customers. I just don't understand how this happened. I didn't do anything differently today. Yo-ho! Oh, Winnie! Huh. She must have left. Oh, the better for me. So that's what it was. He's no hairdresser. He's a hair undresser. If you want to make it in the hair business, you gotta know how to cut it. This buzzard's gonna get what's coming to him. Ladies, wait! I can explain your hair. It wasn't my fault. It was that phony buzzard, Leroy. Come on, I'll prove it. There's the culprit. Caught in the act. All this in the name of dirty wig money. <laughs> oh, ladies, please. Give me some air. I feel faint. You don't believe that nasty woodpecker over moi? Prove it. Go on, pretty boy. Shut up! Look how silky and smooth my legs are now, thanks to your shampoo. Hip, hip, hooray! Hip, hip, hooray! Hip, hip, hooray! Here comes another cartoon! <laughs> The new plowing tractor. And to celebrate, Sugarfoot and me is going hunting. Sugarfoot deserves a rest, John. Oh, I got that all fixed. Look, a private pasture for him to spend the rest of his days in. Why, that new tractor will do the work in half the time it takes Sugarfoot. I'm gonna let Sugarfoot know his working days is over. Sugarfoot, what the heck are you doing? Millie, look what Sugarfoot done to our new tractor. Sugarfoot? Yeah, 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 yeah. And to think I used my last penny to buy it. <laughs> and I thought Sugarfoot could retire and not have to work anymore. That's gratitude for you. Oh, there you are. Why did you do it? You thought that I was going to shoot you? Man, replace you with a tractor? Why, I've got a mind to turn you over to the glue works. <laughs> now you get off of my farm, you ungrateful critter, you. Get!
Jump, you dear old boy. You're supposed to be a brave horse. Jump! <coughs> Jump! Then we'll have to get a double, but where can we get one quickly? You? Well, we have no choice. You'll have to do. Report to makeup. Okay, roll them. Jump! Sugarfoot is today, John. Look, Neely! Sugarfoot, come home! Oh, we're so glad to see you, Sugarfoot. Land sakes, look at all the money, John. Keepers, Millie. Now we can get a new tractor again. And to celebrate, I'm gonna take Sugarfoot to the movies tonight. Pewter, the wonder horse in blazing bullets. <laughs> this is going to be a good one, Sugarfoot. <laughs> <laughs> Keepers, that pewter is sure a brave horse, ain't he? season. And there's my favorite sight. Bird watchers, all here to see me. Oh, I love well, this. Maybe Listen up, fellow bird, bird watchers. I'm so fresh. Ahem. <laughs> <laughs> On today's outing, we won't bother with any of our usual bird pictures. Instead, our favorite magazine is offering a $500 prize for the best photograph of the rare spring-footed speckle-headed woodpecker. Step lively, fellow birders. Oh, watch out. <laughs> That's going to be my prize. Oh, oh, oh that woodpecker. Be careful, birders. The forest is fraught with peril. Mm-mm. I love being the center of attention. Take all the pictures you want of this good-looking woodpecker. Hey, what am I, molting here? This is the best photo op of the day. Ah, oh, playing hard to get, huh? Now remember, bird watchers, don't trip over anyone as you rush off to get your best shot of the rare spring-footed speckle-headed woodpecker. And remember, the $500 prize! Oh, oh that woodpecker is as good as mine! Well, what do you know? 
If there's 500 smackaroonies for a photo of a woodpecker, who knows woodpeckers better than another woodpecker? Namely me. <laughs> the spring-footed, speckle-headed woodpecker is the court jester of the bird kingdom. It hops around with a wild cackle. <laughs> Why, I'd know that bird call anywhere. It's the spring-footed, speckle-headed woodpecker. Now to find the picture-perfect imposter pose. <laughs> oh, fiddle-faddle, I missed. Spring-footed, speckle-headed woodpeckers build intricate homes designed after famous landmarks they have visited during migration. <laughs> 500 buckaroos, here I come. Oh, speckle-head! Whoops and such. You're really starting to coil my springs, bub. Cheese and crackers, I've got the shot. Chips and dip, I say not. Oops, I missed. Now, get lost before I... Whoops and such. Whoa, 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 whoa. <coughs> you are uh, looking for a good shot? Take this. I, Fessel Featherborn, always get my bird. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All you're getting right now is my goat, genius. So you can see, the mating rituals of the spring-footed, speckle-headed woodpecker are varied, unpredictable, and have never been caught on film. Until now. <laughs> <laughs> Yikes! Stop! Get back! Vessel! Help! Say, are you looking for the love of your life? It's time to play Crossbreed! Will you choose bachelor number one? Bachelor number two, or bachelor number three. This is amazing! An amazing fake! <laughs> I know a spring-footed, speckle-headed woodpecker when I see one. And you are no spring-footed, speckle-headed woodpecker. You're nothing but a fake, and you are not getting the prize money. <laughs> Yuck! Say, wait one picture flashing minute. So, you like to kiss me, do you? <laughs> then have I got a deal for you. Step right up and get a genuine photo of the speckle-headed woodpecker. Only $5. Oh, oh, you really? Really? Step right up. Step right up. 